Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue with the uh, South Shore Airport Industrial Spur in South Bend, Indiana. Uh, video number two, we're going to concentrate on the uh, passenger operation. The first video was strictly about uh, freight. So let's get started here first with a little bit of history of this thing. Uh, mo most of this spur was a uh, freight spur and was the uh, gravel pit lead which was built in the 20s. Uh, the track uh, was street running in Westmore and Bendix Drive, but then that was taken out of the uh, street in the mid-70s. Uh, the airport passenger terminal extension was put in in 1992 uh, in order for them to reach the airport, and then they started uh, using this branch. The freight ended and it became passenger only about 2000. And now in 2023, the future is in doubt of this branch with a new station and or new routes into the existing airport station uh, being discussed. So let's kind of just get our bearings straight here again, as we always do, coming uh, starting out with that familiar South Bend map. Again, down here would be the South Shore uh, main line coming into South Bend, and then in red is this spur in question old freight spur which is used uh, runs along Westmore Street and up Bendix Drive and then we have the uh, new extension that was put in in 92 to uh, reach the airport. Seeing that more graphically there with a more detailed South Bend map at first glance you can kind of see uh, what a uh, detour this is coming in from uh, Michigan City or Chicago and then having to uh, take this detour and then come into the airport from the east a lot more time plus that is a slower speed track due to the uh, many crossings and such. So how did this uh, route come about? Well here's a map showing the way things were, the way things uh, are now and we'll kind of uh, explain how that happened. First of all let's take a look at the old route which you see here in the lower right hand corner the uh, station then was at the corner of Bendix Drive and Mead Street. Uh, it shared uh, uh, the station with Amtrak, which the station is still there today for just Amtrak. And uh, when they decided they wanted to move the station to the airport, the proposed route was this dashed line you see here, which was just west of South Bend, but it ran through a, a heavily residential uh, Ardmore neighborhood and it would have involved the removal of uh, quite a few houses. So there was a, a big public outcry, and so the uh, path of least regret for the officials was just to uh, utilize this existing freight spur that already ran up Bendix Drive, and then they just needed to uh, add this extension to reach the airport. So that's how we ended up uh, where we are now. Now, kind of looking at that old station there, we'll, we'll start there uh, first. We kind of see an overview here of the uh, uh, what it looks like now, the uh, Bendix Drive and Meat Street area. Here is the station here, which uh, now it is only uh, Amtrak. Another good look at that station now, but it looks pretty much the same way that it did then. Here's a shot of the old station with one of the old coaches uh, parked along it. This was a Mike uh, Palmiter or Palmiter, I'm not sure on the pronun pronunciation, uh, from back in 1982. Uh, we'll kind of start working along the line like we did in uh, the uh, first video and then give some pictures and video as we go. First of all, the, the uh, branch started right down here by uh, uh, Grandview. And then that uh, made a nice curve through a kind of wooded area and then run right alongside the north side of uh, Westmore Street. Here's a shot of a uh, South Shore train on the north side of uh, Westmore Street. This was a newer shot from uh, Tom Kepshire. Westmore Street again, Sheridan Avenue crossing. Now, let's move a little bit further on down Westmore Street. We see the uh, 
line on the north side making a broad curve then crossing Bendix Drive and heading up north uh, this street uh, well th this track used to run in the street it was street running uh, back until about the middle 70s you could still see some uh, track embedded here in the pavement from where it used to run and that brings us to our next shot this is really a pretty uh, impressive photograph. This was a John Morris fan trip from 1968. You know, that that's when you first see this, it's kind of puzzling because these are the old coaches and service to the airport didn't start until 1992. So you're like, what gives? Well, that was a special uh, fan trip. And you can tell by the number of uh, photographers that are out, out and about trying to get a shot of that, that it, it was really something special. Plus, that was still the street running down Bendix Drive and uh, Westmore Street. So, uh, a really kind of a cool uh, photograph. Same area, roughly, just the uh, crossing of Bendix Drive. Uh, another Thomas Capshire newer shot of the uh, South Shore crossing there. Again, looking at the overhead, Bendix Drive, track to the right, crossing Bonds, uh, Green Street, and Ardmore. Here's a uh, older uh, a shot from that area, again, when service was uh, relatively new. Close-up uh, shot, Bendix and uh, Bonds Avenue uh, area. And we see where the... Uh, line crosses uh, Lincoln Way West and goes alongside Kirk Concrete. Another Thomas Capshire from 2004 of a uh, passenger train on the uh, line heading or neither leaving the airport or heading up to the airport. The uh, track you see in the uh, lower left hand corner was uh, the remains of the uh, Kurt Concrete Spur. Another shot alongside Bendix Drive between Ardmore Trail and Lincoln Way West. Tom Capshire again. And then we see the line uh, moves further north. That's uh, 40 Drive. And then just past this is where the uh, new extension was cut in to reach the airport. Here's the area just north of uh, 40 Drive. Uh, you see the uh, new track construction taking place. Just past this warning sign is where the uh, track was uh, being uh, going to be cut in uh, to reach the airport. Close up of that sign, it's a little bit fuzzy, but it's warning that the uh, road would be closed on September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, and that was in 92 in order for the uh, track to be uh, cut across uh, Bendix Drive. Here's a good look at that brand new track just having been uh, put in uh, crossing uh, Bendix Drive. View from the uh, east side of Bendix Drive showing the curve with uh, new track being put in and uh, track being uh, realigned. New Bendix Drive crossing. look at the uh, new track being installed. This is uh, just to the uh, west of Bendix Drive, approaching the uh, airport. View looking west. Picture here showing uh, track equipment on the new line west of uh, Bendix Drive. It was pretty exciting to see any kind of new track construction in the early 90s, especially uh, after coming out of the 80s when thousands of miles of track were removed and entire uh, line segments disappeared. So uh, it, it, it was really something, uh, something special to see. 
use some shots at the airport, uh, pretty close to uh, inauguration uh, day and, and the first runs. A new track, you can see how the water's beating up on the uh, fresh uh, asphalt. Another view of the uh, platform area and the uh, two uh, tracks that were uh, put in place. See a radar uh, over there to the right. This is Progress Drive, South Shore train either uh, arriving or departing. Overview of the airport area and the way the uh, South Shore uh, is laid out there now. Here we see the uh, main South Bend International Airport complex. Here's where the track comes, comes into the airport and where the uh, platform is. Here's the Progress Drive area where we'll see uh, some more video shortly uh, of uh, one of the uh, newer trains. Another shot of the uh, platform area. Up on the platform. Another good look at the uh, second track where a, a second train could be uh, parked. Look at the uh, new track along Progress Drive, uh, South Shore train uh, leaving the airport. So that brings us back to uh, the future, and again, looking at that map again and, and the penalties involved with uh, the current route as it is now. Uh, right now, the uh, South Shore line is uh, being double-tracked uh, west of uh, Michigan City with the whole purpose of cutting down the travel times between Chicago and Michigan City. So uh, clearly, uh, this uh, entrance into the South Bend Airport now does not fit in with those plans of reducing travel times. So that's why there is talk uh, ongoing about changing it. And now here's some of the uh, ideas of what the change might look like. Uh, it seems that right now uh, things are leaning toward uh, this route here, which would uh, bring the uh, line into the airport from the west. Uh, this is quite a bit further west than that 92 plan of coming up through the Ardmore neighborhood. And as I understand it, this uh, route wouldn't require as many uh, houses to be uh, removed and such. And that seems to be where everything is leaning, but it, it, it's still not official at this time. Another proposal is what you see here in green. That's from the uh, downtown South Bend uh, group. And uh, that would uh, make the station in, in downtown South Bend. But there's still a lot of talk that's going to be going on in the coming months and, and even beyond. So it's really hard to say what, what is going to ultimately happen. But either way, the, the main takeaway seems to be that chances are good that the current route will uh, not be used at some point. And since uh, the freight has been absent on the line now for over 22 years, uh, it, it seems uh, a, a very good chance, at least, that the line might be completely abandoned, the, the current uh, route. So that's why this uh, video is probably timely. But again, time will tell. We'll just have to stay tuned and, and see what is decided. Uh, if you'd like more information on uh, these routes, a couple good sites here uh, are good places to uh, see more maps and such. Uh, one is www.southshorelinesouthbendairportreroute.com and the www.downtownsouthbend.com train. You can get a lot more information if you kind of want to dig into the proposals and uh, advantages and disadvantages. 
For the South Shore in general, more history and pics can be found at the monon.org uh, South Shore section. There's quite a few pictures there. That's where uh, a few of these came from. And also the uh, southshore.railfan.net, a couple good sites to get more uh, South Shore information. <clears throat> so I hope you've enjoyed this video. We will be doing more on the South Shore, the old route into South Bend down uh, LaSalle Avenue and Orange. Uh, not sure if that's going to be a single video or a double. We may do a double like we did with this one. But uh, that's, uh, that's upcoming. But probably next will just be some of the uh, full video, the clips that you saw in the previous video, and this one will, will be put into a single video. Uh, one final note here, uh, this picture that we use for the uh, end, that is actually taken down in Rochester, Indiana. That's the end of the Nickel Plate Trail, and that is where the Elkhart and Western line begins and runs up through Rochester to Argus and beyond. So that's, uh, that's what that picture is all about. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in a future video.